Labcaca's dry scroll pumps can be used across various pieces of equipment and applications. This video will walk you through the proper installation and operation of your new scroll pump. Before installation, be sure the voltage of your scroll vacuum pump is compatible with your free zone or center vap system. The tools required for installation are a box cutter and a nut driver or flathead screwdriver. Unpack and inspect your new vacuum pump as soon as it arrives. Notify the supplier and carrier immediately, within 15 days, if any damage is noticed, and do not use it. Next, unpack the parts included with your vacuum pump. The part list might be slightly different from other models, so check the manual if you're not sure. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the vacuum pump. Locate the lifting eye, inlet port, gas ballast control, exhaust port, user interface panel, and power connector. Provide a firm, level platform for your vacuum pump. Use suitable lifting equipment to move the pump into position if needed. If your pump will be located inside an enclosure, make sure there's adequate ventilation at either end of the pump and a minimum of 25 millimeters of distance between the pump and enclosure walls. Now you can start preparing the pump. Remove protective covers from the inlet and outlet ports. Ensure that the inlet strainer is properly inserted into the pump inlet port. Locate the NW25 fittings provided with your vacuum pump. The half inch fitting is used for central vap installations and the three quarter inch fitting is used for free zone installations. Now you can install the fitting and clamp the strainer with gasket over the inlet port. Tighten firmly by hand. If you've purchased the optional silencer for this unit, you can install it now. Attach the power adapter to your free zone or centrovap and the vacuum pump. Then press vacuum on your freeze dryer or centrovap to activate the vacuum pump. Turn the vacuum pump power switch on by pressing the green start button. Press the green start button again and hold it for 10 seconds until the green auto indicator light illuminates. This allows your Centravap or Free Zone freeze dryer to automatically control your vacuum pump. Here are a few tips to ensure the longevity of your new vacuum pump. Warming up the vacuum pump by running it for 15 to 20 minutes before exposure to any potential vapors helps prevent vapors from condensing in the pump and causing damage. After each use, run the vacuum pump with the gas ballast open for 20 to 30 minutes to purge any potential contaminants out of the pump. Make sure the exhaust tubing is never blocked or restricted. Always be cautious about the safety of the vapors that you're pumping through the vacuum pump. If the vapors are hazardous, the vacuum pump should be placed in a fume hood or the exhaust tubing should be vented to a fume hood. Now your scroll pump is ready to use. Be sure to refer to your instruction manual for complete installation instructions. You can visit labconco.com to find out more.